Hey guys, Station X here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pokemon Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. This is the Scarlet and Light version. They do one of these every time a new Pokemon releases, but this one I'm very excited about because specifically the back of the console, which we'll get a look at in a second, you know, they just did a lot more detail this time. And, you know, I have the originals. We have the first one here, which is the Sword and Shield one. And this one, as you can see, not much detail. It's just the outline of the Pokemon and that's it. And then, here we have the diamond and pearl one again same deal it's just you know an outline of this although i do like the way this like was very sleek you know but i've done videos uh, separate videos on those in the past and while i don't have the very first one the let's go i was assuming that this year was going to be no different where we're going to have a switch light uh scarlet and violet switch and they very much surprised me because with this kind of being like, you know, OLED coming out a year ago, I felt, I guess it was uh, too soon for them to do the Diamond and Pearl as an OLED because by the time Diamond and Pearl released, the OLED was out for the month, you know, a month before. But this is technically like the first Pokemon game to come out while the OLED's been out for a while. Right, so it's been out, it's had enough time to do like special editions. And this is the second special edition behind Splatoon 3 being the first one. And as far as Pokemon is concerned, this is the fourth special edition they've done. Second one where it's just the full on dock and everything with Let's Go being the first one. But speaking of Let's Go, let's jump right into this and just take a look at the front of the box. As you can see here, very nice artwork of the Pokemon themselves. And on the side, same deal. And of course you have like the info of the OLED itself. You have the Nintendo logo on top with more artwork of the Pokemon as well as some information of what you get in the box. And of course we get a nice preview of what you get in it. And the back of it right here, just from the picture already just looks really cool. You got the Joy-Cons. And this is just a very colorful switch, which is something I like. I always like there being a lot of colors in my switch. All right, grabbing this, we're gonna take a look at that in a second, but wanted to get the dock out first. Everything else is basically the same, so we uh, don't really need to look at all that. I'm just gonna grab this out first. Although, hold on, this is different. They didn't do this for the Splatoon one. Yeah, like this time they actually did do different color uh, straps. As you can see, we have the, uh, you have some white, uh, white rails with the uh, corresponding color straps for the Pokemon. So you have Scarlet and Violet. And taking a look at the dock itself, Want to be gentle with this as possible. There we go. I mean, look at how pretty that is. This is very glossy. I don't know if you could, if, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that is a very glossy. I did not expect it to be so glossy. So, originally when I first saw this, I was like, you know, this is a missed opportunity because in all the advertisements and even on the box art, this part right here, this outline over here is usually in gold. And I was like, you know what? This is a missed opportunity, but I'm sure if pe people ended up getting extras of these, you could just probably color that in and you could probably still color that in. But the fact that it's all glossy like this, it'll probably not even do that. <laughs> to look that great. This looks fantastic. I gotta say, like right now I'm using the Splatoon 3 one as my current Switch dock and I might have to replace it with this one. This looks awesome. And on the back here, you got that little Pokeball as well. And of course, like always, this is what the inside looks like. I love how all this, almost all the OLED uh, switches up to this point, whether you got like the default white one, uh, the Splatoon one and this one, they all are in this white color with the exception of that red and blue one that they did 
but that's just something to point out I thought was really funny. Now that we have that there, let's take a look at the Joy-Cons, because you guys know I love my Joy-Cons. Let's get these out. And oh boy, look at these. I just really like the color of them. And you got these little symbols here. It's nothing too fancy, but you got like a nice gold symbol here for Scarlet. And for Violet, you got this nice silver here. I think silver goes really well with purple, so. And you got these designs on the back, matching the theme of the Switch itself. And speaking of, the main attraction here Beautiful, look at that. This is really nice. I love that it pops. Of course, it's just two colors, Scarlet and Violet, but that's just kind of the theme of it. So, I mean, just look at that. I think that's beautiful. And it's always something that I've always complained about with every single special edition. Now, not every special edition has to have the same thing, but I always felt like they always did like the less is more approach and while that's fine to do for some special editions, it just felt like every single one was like that. Animal Crossing kind of being an exception with, you know, the most amount of color changes. And, you know, the Super Mario one, while there was no, like, designs like this, uh, having a different color tablet, because basically every tablet's, you know, a black color, whereas that one was a red color. And so, like, that was a nice change. And seeing how, like, most of the time you get, like, uh, the the comfort grips are usually in a black color. But that one, you had a blue one. Whenever they decide to do something different, instead of just doing the same thing, I always love that. And, of course, the OLED itself is a really nice console. I have a full unboxing kind of just showing and comparing the different switches on its own. Uh, just, you know, unboxing the OLED its own video. But yeah, not, we're not going to go into too much detail about everything there. But um, yeah, just like the main show is really the back here. So let's just show that here. So here we got everything laid out. Let's, let's see what it looks like with the Joy-Cons on. Because the design kind of continues like that. Like that looks fantastic. And let's throw this in the dock itself. This is what it's gonna look like docked, which is pretty cool. And let's look at the back of this thing. Yeah, it's a sick thing to have in your collection too. So, I mean, if you're a big Pokemon fan, you know, this is just nothing short but awesome. Of course, I remember back in the, uh, the DS and 3DS days, specifically the 3DS, where they had some really nice special editions. I can't wait to see what more they're gonna do if they can, you know, Obviously, there's going to be more Pokemon games, so hopefully, you know, more special editions come out uh, for Pokemon and we get some really nice, cool ones continuing that trend. I really like what they did here, and I hope they kind of continue doing this kind of thing instead of doing this every year, you know? Like, I was worried that this was just going to be the trend and I would have less and less to talk about. But, I mean, that'll be pretty much it for today. Let's just get all of them in one shot here. I mean, like, look at that family of pokemon switches i'm just missing the one the let's go but let me know what you guys think are you excited for this thing are you picking one up yourself let me know in the comments below i've been station x and i hope you guys have a wonderful day